Hey, here we're another 3XL trying to explain a little bit how to use Glaze for all of you that are coming to Cara and even the ones that are using Instagram or Facebook still that you maybe should think about it. So it's really easy. I don't think there's any problem, but just in case someone wants to, to know how is the process, I will make a really short video about it. Okay, so let's begin. So first of all, we go to the web page of Glaze. Uh, you can find it in Google. You just put Glaze AI or something like this and it will appear on, on, on the search. Uh, but if not, I will put the link on the description and just down there. So you go here, you have Glaze. Now you go to downloads, download Glaze. So you can go to the lower part of this page and you have for Windows, for Mac OS, so you pick up the one that you prefer and you download it. It will be a little bit slow. It's like two and a half gigabytes or something like this. So it will take a little bit of time to download, but you download it, you unpack it, and you will have a glaze.exe to, to open it. So you open glaze and you will see something like this. And as you can see, there's not many options, so it's it's really easy to follow. You have here select, you can select one image or you have you can select several ones. Then you have this intensity. The more you intensify, the more artifacts it will appear. Uh, but as far as I have tried, there's no much problem with that. So basically you can stay with what the program says it's okay by default. Then you have the render quality and, and this is the amount of time that is going to take to change your image. I think that, again, the default is more than enough, but if you want to be like more sure about it, you can make it slower. It depends a lot on your GPU and, and so. And then three, you have your, your output. You just go here and, and just select the folder you want the image to be and then run Glaze and it will start. It will take around two to three minutes if you select the default option, but it can take uh, a little bit more. But the good thing is that you can select a batch of images. You can just place them, go and take a, a coffee or take a walk. And when you come back, they will be totally glazed. And that's basically it. Here's an example of what I have done with this image. This is the original one and this is the glazed one. And as you can see, there's no much difference between both of them. Maybe there's a little bit of some artifacts that you can see here and there, but I don't think they are annoying enough to, to be upset. And even if you are trying or you're gonna use this in a mobile phone, nobody's going to to know so it's better to be aware of this and use it just in case for your images and that's it as you can see it's really easy to do it's really easy to 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 glaze your images so as a community it's really important for us to be together to do this for each of the images that we're uploading to any um, social media and uh, Keep networking, keep liking, keep sharing, and keep using Kara and see you around.